tape with this last game? Anything stand out that maybe you didn't catch that night? Or? Um, not really. I uh, figured uh, we could have gotten a little bit more after the quarterback, but uh, as far as anything else, we did a lot up front. Well, you guys had three sacks. I think Kentucky O line was giving up three sacks all year in the first in the first uh, five games. You guys had as more sacks than anyone else. Had. Yeah, um, when coach, our coach Lon told us that we sort of took it as a challenge, and so we uh, all front four pretty much went after the quarterback as much as they, much as we could, as long as we could throughout the whole game. Looking back on the whole film, I mean, are you still looking at this thing? And, you know, how in the world did, did that second half happen? Um, we sort of look at it now and we sort of learn from it more so for this week coming up. So that way we try to prevent some of the mistakes that happen then so we can uh, prepare for now this week. Can you, can you recall a game, though, where you guys had, have had such blatant blown coverages that ended up with such you know important scores? Um, I didn't know anything about like the coverages as far as what the defensive backs check. All we got was the front as far as uh, what the call was. And we're not the quarterback. Talk about the change in attitude. Have y'all been able to bounce back coming from the locker room Saturday night to out here tonight? Yeah, you could tell like the mentality of some of the players and stuff, like especially with defense, that we want to get better this week. We don't just want to settle for being average. We want to get better as long as the weeks keep going along. How tough is it a player? Is it something you think about while you're sitting in class or walking around campus, or do you move on pretty pretty easily and look ahead to Vanderbilt this week? Um, I sort of look at all the things that I did negative and try to work on it so I can be more positive on the next coming game.